Good morning, guys. Well, welcome to today. Sam's looking at something that we got yesterday. He picked up. Who knows what it is? Yeah. It looks like a square bale net, but it isn't. It's a round bale net, isn't it? Yeah, it's a round bale net. So we're going to try round bales this winter. Uh, he bought this. It was secondhand. This was $60 secondhand, and it has some holes in it. Round bales, the nets are crazy expensive. Anyway, we decided to try it. He didn't want to buy a brand new one because we're only trying it. And it also came with a carry bag and it also came with a repair kit. A repair kit, so. So I'll be working on that today. Figure out how to sew this stuff together. Yeah, so I see like four. Yeah, there's more than what they said there was. Yeah, there's a lot of little there's cuts. Like one, two, three. Four. But I mean, I'm sure our horses are going to do that too. But I'm going to try and repair it and see how it works. I laid it out last night so it could rain and we need a round bale for Chino. get cleaned. Yeah, we need a round bale for Chino because we come out like 27 times a day to make sure he has hay. Molly is getting used to Gabby being gone, but man, she still hates it. All right, the chickens are headed out. They are excited to get out in the morning now. They literally just swarm the door so I can't even get in. So basically this is all oh, that's scary as heck it's okay <laughs> i think i just caught on camera the rooster attacking me it's okay it's okay buddy because i was walking away whenever i'm walking away i used to have a chihuahua that did that too Let's see if he tries to get me again i mean it's scary no matter what, it is scary when someone's running at you. So it is vet day for Chino. Hopefully everything turns out, cross our fingers. Basically, uh, Chino has complications from Lyme disease. So we had the vet come today to help us with Chino's abscess because, so the way Chino's Lyme disease works is that it causes him to have laminitis and it causes him to have abscesses, mostly abscesses. So we had the vet come out today to help us with this abscess because he takes a lot of pain medication. All right, so sorry, I keep getting interrupted because the vet called the farrier. They did a, they're doing a ton of stuff for Chino today. We're gonna try something totally different to try and stop the abscesses or at least protect him from the abscesses. And we're gonna, it's just something to try. We're just gonna try it while we continue to treat him for Lyme. So he's already feeling better. The vet and the farrier dug out a bunch of abscesses. So Chino has had this abscess for a week and it hasn't popped. And I know that the medication that he takes can cause it to take longer to pop, but he just was having so much pain and it's just been so long that I wanted the vet to come and check him out. And we have a new plan. I'm gonna tell you guys about it in just a few minutes as soon as he gets his, as soon as the barrier leaves. That's adorable. So, she was scared of what, she got yeah, look at her. So we've been trying to teach all we wanted. Oh. <laughs> she's like, I'll just spin. It's she's easier. Like, what do you want? But we're trying to teach all of our animals to walk through the hula hoop. Isn't that so good? Now you got to do it with honey. I know. I want to because she's smaller. All right. So everybody's gone. It was a very busy morning. <sighs> so we had, like I said, we had the vet come today and it was literally like, uh, is this Chino's time to go? Like, that's how close it was. Like, anyways, um, we decided to try something new. So we're still treating him for Lyme disease. It's still not better, but um, he has medical shoes on. So he has horseshoes on now. And on the bottom of these is a metal plate that takes all the pressure off his feet. They were able to get rid of the abscesses. They like dug them out. Barking in your face. Yeah, so they dug them out and we're gonna see if Chino will walk on them. So these are gonna replace the boots. Wow, looking better. He has his feet blocked right now. So it might be causing him to walk weird. So if you take him right out to the hay, and he's gonna have to get used to these, and I'll explain them a little later. Uh, Gabby will be changing them regularly she'll be the, he has a poultice dressing in there and some stuff and we duct tape them okay let me explain 
Oh, he's, he's walking. Like, so basically, under here he has a shoe, and then he has a metal plate. It's called a medical plate. It's just an actual an actual metal piece of flat metal, and it will hold his feet up off the ground. And in between that, he has a poultice pad, um, just because his feet are all open underneath there right now, because they dug out the abscesses. So we put the duct tape around because there's a space between the metal plate and the horseshoe and we don't want any bacteria and stuff to get in there. That's what he's got going on. That's what we're trying now. The vet said this is what we want to try. Like before we were treating the Lyme disease with antibiotics, treating the pain with drugs, pain pills, and we were treating, uh, then we were like healing his immune system. We were giving him immune support and then we were healing his gut. Go outside. I love my goose. Yeah. I've never I love loved another another bird Whoops. better than I love the goose. Come on over here. She was like, Look, guys, I All right, I gotta eat something, and then I'm gonna come and clean. They need more hay. He needs more hay. Dad just gave him more hay. Oh. Look, there you go. Eat that up, and I'll get you more. <sighs> so that's it. That's that's the whole story of Chino today. This has been a roller coaster. A huge roller coaster. It's been so hard treating him, but we're hoping that him being able to be off his off of his feet completely and not have to handle the feet pain will help him. Help him eat more, help him gain weight. So the only tricky part is that um he if he gets an abscess, so if he gets an abscess on the bottom of his hoof, then he will be okay. That will help prevent the pain. But if he gets an abscess anywhere else, then it's not gonna prevent it's not going to fix anything but also because he takes the pain pills the pain pills i think i told you that already prevent abscesses from bursting the way that they usually do so it goes on for so long anyway there's a whole bunch of ramifications that can happen from all the medications and stuff he takes but we're just playing it by ear and hoping that he's going to come out of this this is all my first aid stuff that we had out here today so we, I still super grateful for these shoes. I still love these shoes. I love the potential that they have. I know we're gonna use them again, but for right now, we're going to use the boots that he has on. I have to eat, I'm so hungry, and I have so much to do today. I have so many videos I wanna shoot. But first I need to eat, I'm starving. All right, so we are at the sales barn. We just wanted to take a few minutes and stop by and see if there's any geese here baby geese what is it a dog harness yeah five dollars each for oh would that be good for the goats uh -huh. yeah yeah so people have bought them for goats people have bought them for goats yeah that's what i've heard so it said that i got two here you could have a pair for seven dollars or five dollars each all right that's a good deal you want both of them yeah because i want to put these for the santa claus parade so we got these things and i'm so excited about them all right there's not much here today I mean, it is packed in there. Oh, look at baby cows. So we are gonna get a cow one day, but not that kind of cow. That's not the kind I want. That's not the kind we're gonna get. I mean, yeah, they are cute. I could just stare at them forever. We're gonna get a mini Highland one day. Not today, not tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I would call him Wilbur for sure. That is the cutest pig I've ever seen. Literally the cutest. Oh, you are so cute. You are adorable. Look at how big his ears are. It's it a, is. That's a blue-eyed boy. Yeah, the one in the back. We really want a blue-eyed. And it's black. I don't want a black one. Wow. So he's, he's you're chunky. <laughs> he's probably like, who are, who do you do, who are you to say that? None, no goats here for us. It is Sam's birthday today and we are having cake. We are also having ribs for dinner. It's a collar with a bell. Oh, awesome. Three. Three Sophie's wow. opening your package. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are cute stitch stickers. Let's unpack this thing. Stuff, so we just got one collar that's for the goats? Nice one, right? What the heck is this? Oh, that's for Gabby's car. Yeah, some cars need a funnel to put gas in with, with a gas can and Gabby's car is missing one. So I... Wow, that's a fancy shower head. Is it light up? I don't know what it does. You just ordered it because it was on Timu and it was cheap? Yeah. 
pretty much. <laughs> Sunglasses. More light. For the More market. fancy lights. For the horses, they're like uh, cattle scratch pads, but oh. you stick them on the wall. And they're I know someone who would love them. I know somebody who would love it too. Oh my gosh, they're awful. We're not using those. They'll scratch. They're so sharp. That's Here, what turn for. Oh. They're pretty dull. Ow, it hurts. It actually hurts. You have to do it so Here, soft. Oh, okay. You can wrap them around poles, posts. I think the goats stick, would love them. Or you can stick them on the garage, on the, the wall. They seem too sharp to me. What's that? My oh, a laundry hamper. Keep it closed. No matter what the goat says. He also got some goat nipples. These go on probably like pop bottles. That's cool. When your rooster sees you and he comes flying up the hill. All right, so I need to do a big clean in here because everything we did today with the vet made a big mess and then we have stuff just like hanging everywhere. These are for... This is like the There's spot. So yeah, oh wow. This is the spot I put this here so we can sit or so we can store stuff. This is for the goats. It's this stuff for the goats. All right. Let's just wait. I'm gonna go get Chino some more hay. So if he wants to take the, the duck and the goose to the parade, could you imagine? I would take my goose. We cleaned all this up today. We don't have tons of hay, what the heck? Wow, okay. He was doing that to us. He was like, thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he likes them. His feet are pretty like chewed up. They had to get the abscesses out. So he has like a lot of holes in his feet right now. Soft what? tissue. That was Lucy. Let's go put the collars on the goats. I'm beginning to think you're stalking me. Are you stalking me? Don't chase me. I'm a little nervous. I feel like he's stalking me. He, he bit me. Right on the leg. I wanted to film the goats eating the leaves because it makes me happy. But the problem is this little goat of Sophie's is just like, I'll just stand with you. She like is so cuddly. We're coming, baby boy. I think your horse is in heat. You think mine? Because she was like attached to Storm's butt and Storm does not like that so he started to... Oh. These ones are bigger. Oh, here you come. Okay, so you guys, some new thing that's happened on our farm. Um, Leo, the goose, actually, actually attacks anything that comes near me. If it's on me or near me, he attacks it. And how he attacks it is he rubs his neck on them. But it's so funny. He gets so mad if any other animal spends time with me. Where are you? Oh, hi, Storm. Sam? Everybody's waiting for dinner. Everybody thinks it's dinner time. Honestly. <laughs> Barnyard cries at <laughs> dinner time. Do you want to try some pineapple? Oh, you like it? Oh, good. Tried them earlier and the girls don't like it. But the little bucks, they eat it like crazy. What's going on? Anybody in here? Wow, that is bright. I love it. Wow, look at this. Oh, can you put one inside the door here or no? Yeah, as far as I can go. Oh, that's, well, this is where we're going to go farther, but I need an extension cord. I love it. It's supposed to go to where that light is, but it's not long enough. Do you have more for like in the stalls? Yeah, I got a bunch of them. I love it. It's so bright. This is like my favorite barn. Even though I like the other barn, it's just cozy in here. Do you want me to go get you a screwdriver? No, I can walk. Let's see if we can use this thing. I can go. Anyways, I'm so exhausted, you guys. Chino, having a sick horse is exhausting. It's actually physically exhausting. Worrying all the time is the most, I guess it's not physically exhausting. It's emotionally exhausting. Like, I'm just tired. I'm so tired. Like, he's on a ton of pain medicine. <laughs> he shouldn't be having any pain, especially because now he has those medical shoes on. And they should be preventing him from having pain. 
You may be wondering how two minutes, five seconds ago, they were up at the top of the barn, and now they're all down here. They just listen for us all day long. Today was the first time I almost felt defeated. I almost felt like we were defeated. I almost felt like it's not gonna happen. He's not gonna come through. And then the vet came and the farrier came and I want to keep pushing through. I definitely want to keep pushing through. Yesterday someone sent me a message telling me that their horse died from Lyme, complications of Lyme. And then today, this morning, somebody else said that they know about Lyme because their horse died from Lyme. And like, it's so hard. It is so hard. It's so exhausting caring for him. Like, it's a lot, but he's worth it. And it's worth it for Gabby because it's, he's her dream horse. He's the only horse she wants. He's the only horse that she talks about. No matter where we are, I think you might, guys might have even heard it at the show. Maybe I cut it out, I don't know. But she compares every horse to Chino and all she sees is good in him. All she sees is what he can do and, and how amazing she feels on him. But holy heck, it's getting, it's getting hard, you guys. It's, it's getting so hard. Little Rosie, <laughs> I just love you. Oh, it's up. <laughs> Amazing, I'm so excited. I love it. <laughs> She's like, but I really want dinner. You left your ladder outside. Yeah, I know. Sam's working on his birthday, working hard. You want me to go get it? Wow. Wait. I need a screwdriver, but. Do you, I'll go get you a screwdriver. Which kind do you need? Uh, star. And where do I find it? <laughs> the toolbox. All right. This is our date night. This is how we hang out together. We hide in the barn. We leave the girls in the house. <laughs> date night is over. We've been embar invaded by dogs and Sophie. Oh. I wasn't holding oh. her enough, so she started freaking out. I know. She sits on your lap. She comes she right up you to know. you. She is literally the cutest goat. Look at how cute she is. She's just so cute. Look at her. I know. She's the sweetest girl. We never have problems catching her. No, nope. she comes up. We have problems with her being we in have, space. Look at her. Aw. She's like, pick me up. Oh, Oops. No. She tried to jump up on Sophie. She actually, now she's happy. Yeah, she actually loves to be picked up. Hi, oh, you know why? She's like, take me in. <laughs> well, she's like this all day. Hi. This is the thing that we I bought. I squatted down, guys, and she cuddled into me. Yeah, she's so cuddly. But this is the thing, can you turn her to the side, that we bought at the sales barn today. She's like, ooh, food. <laughs> so that's it. I don't know if we'd be able to, like, hook up a... I guess we could hook up a, a leash to it. Hi, I know it's your baby. I could sew some D-rings on it. We'll bring them up to the house, and I'll sew some D-rings on, and then we can use it as... Uh, to walk them. I love it. It's cute. She's Every day this week I've tried to shoot a couple of videos that I really want to shoot and we've gotten sidetracked but I wanted to show you guys. This is going to be our very first birthing suite. This is it. Sam put a new light in here and it's so bright and so cute. It honestly feels like a little house for our, our goats. So, so we're gonna, gonna get a hammock and put it in here. Yeah, she wants to put a hammock in here. I'm gonna see so if so they... I can just lay here with the babies. Yeah. Blossom is gonna be so jealous. Yeah. It's gonna be so sad. Yeah, but anyways, uh, that's the feeder in here. I actually really like these feeders. They really help reduce waste. What do you think, Ellie? Yeah. So we'll clean this out Ellie's and like, put fresh shavings in here. But this will be where she labors, and then this is where she'll stay with her kids until she gets to go outside. I chose the prettier one. Yeah. And this one's gonna be mine. <laughs> I'm gonna get Sam to put a new light, another one of those I lights in here. make like windows here. Yeah, that's cool, that'd be cool. I can't do it though, because before when I tried to make something, it did not work. <laughs> Just like your what? mama. Awesome. All right, let's go, She's go. She's screaming at Let's go sing happy birthday to your dad. Close that door. But look at how bright, like this is, uh, we've been hanging down here for, like we've been down here for the last hour. I just love it. Don't you know that